what is your expectation for this year long process of a summit and what do you most want to see out of it? Starting with you, Glenda. Alice, my expectation for the summit is, is are two things. First is really the focus on how to clean up the information ecosystem that impacts not just journalists, but activists, citizens, and all democracy frontliners. Second is for this kind of summit to be institutionalized in very specific countries that are under siege. And for that, for those agreements, if any, to be cascaded down to those countries and be reflected in the way um, um, citizens are pr protected, in the way media should be supported, um, um, especially those under attack. Glenda, thank you. Alexandra, your expectations for the summit? Um, uh, I want to say that our world are rapidly changing and nobody knows the future. But there are a lot of things which still is stable and have no limitation of national border. And I really expect that this summit will remind about such kind of things. Solidarity, human dignity and freedom. Very well said. Farhad, your expectation. Well, I, I have a hope rather than expectation. Hopefully that the conflict and the, that the rhetoric that is used um, among these leaders to be a lot less and more focused on, new, on, on dialogue and cooperation uh, than anything else, because whatever they say and whatever they do reflects directly on, especially on the third world country, especially in our region in the Middle East, and have negative or positive effects. So hopefully that they will come out in agreement and in a united wording of whatever, or at least they can uh, put their differences on hold for the time being with all the challenges that facing the world with the pandemic, the economic crisis and everything else. All right, thank you. And finally, Idia, your expectations. What do you hope for? I think uh, I'm quite hopeful of this um, summit. And I think first and foremost, I, it's what is actually putting out to the people that democracy is not a given, that it actually has got to be nurtured. And that at the end of this summit, we would have the leaders coming out to acknowledge that yes, Democracy is actually en encountering challenges, but this is a new beginning to foster democracy, to foster development for the people of the world. Thank you. 